Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with Lara, and today we're going to discuss Kazushi. Okay, because many of you guys have been asking about Kazushi or off balance. It's a very important concept, frequently misunderstood, right? When I teach judo, let's just look at a, a taitoshi. Okay, let's keep take a neutral stance just for the basics of it. Off balance, keep the off balance. Oh, bro, taitoshi. If she's not off balance, she's bending knee, right? She gets stuck behind me. All this mass and weight behind me, when my arms are compromised like this, it's gonna be very difficult to use my arms if I'm already set to throw the person in front of me, right? So it has to be this systematic thing that incrementally improves my chances of throwing her. So to the hands, I step, I need to step using this to drive my weight away from her. Okay, not always. I'm pulling, arm goes, weight goes, body goes, turn. And this is my moment where I attack, okay? I wanna bring most of her weight away from her feet. A good marker for that is her head and shoulders, right? Can she bring her head away from her base like this? Yes, she can, right? That's usually a good marker. Uh, she drops her hips back and then brings her head forward. She's still in good balanced position, okay? So you can't just look at the head and the shoulders, but you want to take it away from the center of gravity here and then away from the base, right? The entire body has to come forward. Now, this is the tricky thing about judo. This moment of her vulnerability, of me doing this attack, it's only there instantaneously for a fraction of a second because off balance, yes, if she takes a step forward, on balance, because look, base, center of gravity, head and shoulders. It just takes this. Oh, I'm on balance, right? It's very fleeting, it's very instantaneous. It's gone in a second. That's why when you're drilling judo, right? When you have an opponent, every time you pull them forward and they just take a step forward, right? That's not gonna help you, right? You need an opponent that's gonna give you the proper off balancing by being a good partner, so you can actually feel what that moment feels like. Okay, fraction of a second. So, I'm doing Tatoshi, off balance. Okay, see how she's leaning on me? She's using me as a support, right? And this is the moment where I can attack for a turn throw safely because she is off balance, right? I want her to look good. <laughs> Same thing with all the techniques, right? If I'm gonna throw her, Backwards with an Ochigari, okay, can you be neutral stance? Toes in the line, right, toes in the line, neutral stance. I need her off balance backwards onto her heels, okay? Once I'm in this position, it's gonna be very easy for me to reap this leg and take her down and go past the guard or whatever you wanna call it, right? Or into pinning position. But no human is going to let you drive the weight back to her heel like this. That's gonna be instantaneous. A lot of the times you need to be able to create that moment by pulling and then they responding. I'm gonna go this way. Whoops, OG, okay? A quick fake forward, misdirection. Something of this nature, right? The danger of the 50-50 position is if I'm going in for an Osotogari and if I'm trying to create this off balance, we have even hand position and the likelihood of her taking my balance to the opposite side as I'm going for an Osoto, you go for Osoto too, well, right? Potentially that can happen. This is a good likelihood. If she's taller than me, stronger than me, all of these different factors play a role, right? And who gets that off balance? That's why that 50-50 position is not recommended. Once I have down, better control, okay? Better control of her head, Better control of her arm for me to be able to gain this off balance, right? Has increased a lot, right? Because I can use my entire body to go for this sort of guy, right? In this position, can you try to off balance me in this direction? Not so much so. I can have good hand position. Kazushi, look, I pull, I'm driving her head away from her base in the center of gravity, and now I'm in great position to reap this leg for the sort of boom! <laughs> So Kazushi, it's instantaneous. In order to train it and to properly recognize it, you need a good uke that's gonna help you, right? 
achieve that, right? Because it's very natural when you go to Gari to do this. Take one step, keep my base underneath me, right? That's just very intuitive, and people do it without having any experience in judo, right? Because you spend their whole lives on their legs, right? You try not to fall over, right? My two-year-old doesn't fall over anymore. People are good at not falling over, right? Because we're bipeds, right? So, Kazushi, it's instantaneous. You could take him, him or her, in any different angle, right? I could take Kazushi to the back corner. I could take Kazushi to this far corner. I could take Kazushi front, okay? A lot of it is me keeping my balance and being in optimal position to take my opponent away from hers, right? It's a game of taking each other's balance. Right? If I could fake forward, I'm going this way, she reacts the other way, whoops! Right now I'm going in this direction, and if I would have hit Ochigari there, she would have flat, fell flat on her back. Right? Uh, but me going that way, and going this way, is her coming this direction. That's where hand position plays a major, major, major role. Right? What's the difference of me, even even, going like this, and her going like this? There isn't any. It's the exact same thing. So likelihood of the person taking the other person's balance relies on too many factors. But if I could control the sleeve, she doesn't control my posture, right? For me to all bounce her away from her base here, well, catching the feet, catching the legs, right? This is a lot better, right? We're all balanced, all balanced, Kazushi, take that, right? So being in good hand position first, is very, very important, and making your hands work for you. Hands go before your legs, okay? You have to get that in your head in order for Kazushi to happen. Hands before feet. I see this all the time. I wonder if I can even do it. <laughs> okay, fast feet. But the, feet <laughs> but the hands aren't doing anything, right? The feet are going first. Great way to get counted. Okay, you're gonna get stuffed. So that's my whole lesson on Kazushi. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Is that how I make that face? Yeah. Let's just throw it. <laughs>